Okay, so joining us here today is uh, Mubix, otherwise known as Rob. Some of you might be very familiar with him. He's here on the show, and he's come to show us a nice little uh, special collection of programs that you can carry on your USB oh, yeah. thumb drive. Very, very useful, very portable. So nice to have you on the show, Thanks. Bob. Thanks. It's a Great pleasure. To be here. Let's get to it. What, what are these programs? Like, what's so special about these programs? Okay, well, I got a lot of them, and we'll probably be including them in the show notes. Okay. Um, but there's four good ones that I want to point out mm -hmm. that I, I like more than the others. All right, um, and those are? The first one is HFS Web Server. HFS mm -hmm. Web Server stands for HTTP File Server, Web Server. File Server, Web Server. Kind of like G and U, and G and U is not Unix. Backwards. But, um, <laughs> so this little, cool little program, what it does is single executable, lightweight, and all you have to do is double click it and you got a web server. And okay. what this web server does is you dra drag and drop files onto it mm -hmm. and it serves it out to whoever on that web server. It has this like, nice little web interface for whoever goes to it. Okay, so like you, to whomever has access to this particular file server that you've given. Right. It, it's, it's FTP access for them. You can right. Well, it's, it's faster than FTP because you can actually use wget or other, other tools on it mm -hmm. um, and open up like 10 connections to it. And get, really? Get, yeah. You can open as many connections as a web server. You can uh, use like wget or like apt-get or something like right. that if you're something, running a Linux type Some instrument. download manager. That's it's, awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. And, once, and this fact that it's a standalone executable will allow even like limited users access to the program, you know, like they can run the program themselves without having administrative privileges. Right. So if I'm a sysadmin mm -hmm. and I go out to a lo uh, uh, remote site, mm -hmm. I don't have to know the, uh, that ISCs, that, that um, sysadmin's administrative password to get right. whatever file I need off the, this local guy's hard drive. Computer. Okay. And I just send it back. It's real cool. Okay. So uh, next on the list? Next on the list is Spacemonger. I've actually been using this for a long time. Um, it initially came out on PC World. A uh, little CD, okay. long Just time like, ago. like a shareware or freeware type deal, right? And um, what it does is visually, graphically shows you your hard drive or mm -hmm. whatever drive you decide to pull up on it. Okay. And little, little colors, pastels, but you have a six gig file somewhere that you'd have no idea where it is, but mm -hmm. or whatever size file it's taken up your C drive, and you've right. partitioned it normally. So yeah, but it's taking up all that space, right? Mm -hmm. So. You don't know where it is. You, you fire up Spacemonger. It searches the whole hard drive real quick and tells you graphically how much this file is that size, that file is this size. And you can delete it from there. You can oh, directly. Yeah, so you, you actually have file like write privileges, well, like as far as delete or right. whatever from right. within FileMonger. Correct. Or Spacemonger. Spacemonger. So next we got LockNote. Lock, lock Notes. You've all heard of Notepad, right? Of course. You've yeah. heard, I mean, so I write my HTML. Everybody has Notepad. Yeah. Well, lock notes. Say you have things you want to store, like your keys for your Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. You know those 128 bits for web that you use, not supposed to. <laughs> um, and uh, you have these keys, and you, you don't want to remember this whole thing. Mm -hmm. So you put it in Notepad. You save it. You drop it in the lock note. Put a password on it, and it encrypts it. Okay, so it's portable encryption. Right, and you just store. You don't have to store any program with it. It goes into LockNote as an EXE, and you double click it, put in your password, and you got all your stuff. Oh, neat. So yeah. you don't have to carry LockNote itself with nope. you. You just have to have your password from LockNote, like whatever password you set for that file. Right, and that file, and that's it. And it's a pretty, a pretty secure encryption, too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And next? Now, many of you might know about TorPark. TorPark is um, portable, Linux, or portable Firefox, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Portable Firefox is a tool that was used on um, a lot of USB drives when Firefox started out, mm -hmm. and um, what this designer did, I'm not sure of the name, but um, put Tor, which is the onion router, we'll be talking about later, mm -hmm. and and smacked it into um, Deer Delta. Park, okay. Firefox. Yeah, De yeah, Deer Park. And um, came out with Tor Park, okay. which is, all you do is a slap Tor Park on your um, USB drive, double click it, and you're instantly on the onion router. Nice. So you, you just you got Firefox, the other router, and that's it. So you're surfing in Firefox, and it's instant anonymity. Right there, you go. Awesome, awesome. That Very is sweet. so cool. And you said you're going to have a, a an extended listing of uh, Very programs. Very extended. Sweet. Yeah. Everything on a one gig um, hard drive or USB stick that I have. 
Thank you so much, Rob. That's really, no really cool. And like we said, anywhere, you know, at any time, once you get done watching this, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Listing of an, all of all of these uh, programs and a lot of other ones for your USB thumb drive in the show notes. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of the show.